Hi guys, in this video, we will be talking about how uh, your weight and radius diameter lah, diameter of your rim affects the performance of your car. Okay, so let's look at the rim, your your wheels. Okay, this is your wheel. Please excuse my drawing. Ah. Okay, so your wheel receives torque from the engine. It's subject to torque from your engine. Let's call this tau. Okay, and uh, so it ex let's assume you, when you are accelerating, it is accelerating with, we denote the acceleration of your wheel alpha so the rotation of the wheel is of course about its um, about the axle okay so this is the axle of your of your car and this is the torque torque alpha okay now uh, we all know newton's second law okay newton's second law on a straight line okay is that when you have an object of mass m you push it with a force f the, the object accelerates okay has an acceleration and these three variables are connected by this formula f equals to ma right now but how do you apply newton's second law in a rotational uh, in the rotational system so let's say you have a cylinder all right you have this cylinder huh? Okay, and it is rotating about this axis through its center line. Okay, now, and you apply a torque around its center line, and then it accelerates with this following angular acceleration. So, uh, this torque, okay, and the angular acceleration, they are connected by this by this formula which is torque equals to moment of inertia times your angular acceleration so yes what then for is this moment of inertia okay moment of inertia simply put it is you can describe it as the rotational mass of an object about a given axis all right so uh, Physicists have worked out that in the case of a cylinder, okay, your moment of inertia in this system, uh, okay, is I equals to m r squared, where m is the mass of the cylinder, and r is the radius of the cylinder. Okay, no, so so now of course, uh, r is half of your diameter. Okay, so the diameter is 2R and therefore M, half of your diameter squared. Therefore, you can also look at it as half MD squared. Okay, so this is the moment of inertia for a cylinder. And you apply this back to the case of your rim. Okay, now, so what you get here is that when you take torque, equals to I alpha, what you have here therefore is torque is actually equals to one quarter M D squared alpha. Okay, so now this alpha is the angular acceleration of your wheel. This torque comes from your engine, right? And, and then here are your, these variables are from your wheel. Okay, M D squared. So M here, okay, how M here, uh, so every increase of M, in this instance, every increase of M increases your moment inertia linearly, whereas every increase in the diameter of your wheel increases your moment of inertia substantially. So 
here it shows that right if you were to increase as you increase your rim your rim diameter you actually increase your uh, moment of inertia substantially and what it means is that the torque the same amount of maximum torque that you put in on your wheels results in your angular acceleration being reduced so this is how all right this this explains why when you every time when you upsize your rim okay even if you were to upside you go to a bigger size rim but of the, of the same weight you actually lose a bit of your straight line performance